Uh, Legion Azrael here, like always, and I hope, again, you're having a fantastic holiday season. I will be saying that probably on every video up until the 25th, because not everybody watches the same stuff. So I'll say it for every video, for every unique group of people on this channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic holiday. Um, yeah, so let's just get into some Rogue One, it's location featurette. So what they're going to be doing, which has always been really cool, which they didn't always do in a lot of movies because it like ruined the mystique, is like we never got to see a lot of where Star Wars was filmed, and I don't believe it had it on the um, <clears throat> on any of the DVD stuff. I don't believe it showed any of that. But if you watch, I think the is it called the Empire of Dreams? I think is the documentary for Star Wars. If you check that out, you get to see all the deserts and all the different places they use for. Uh, yeah, I think the first three, not episode one, two, and three, but four, five, and six. I don't really think, and it was made before, and they kind of talked in, I think, episode one, maybe two, and I don't know if three was out yet when they made the documentary. Maybe it was, and they kind of mentioned, like, the CGI and the special effects, but I don't think there's a lot of location, because nowadays there's a lot of studios making places, and so, yeah, so let's just get into some of the locations that Rogue One was filmed at, because that's going to be really cool, I can't wait to check that out. So with that being said, let's get into it, check it out, see what it's all about, let's hope it's good. We have a mission for you. I was super keen to shoot Rogue One on location because wherever you looked in any direction, it felt very real. If you're really doing do. this, I want to help. <laughs> I absolutely Jordan. loved filming in Jordan. You feel like you're in a galaxy far, <laughs> far away. It's an That's epic cool. shot. That'd be the best part. That's an epic shot, man. I love it. It looks beautiful. Oh, oh he did mocap for that? Nice. That's it's cool. Old history of it because it was used as the exterior shots of the Yavin base from A New Hope. We are in it's, uh, Slough in England, otherwise known as Pinewoods. You really wouldn't know. They've done an amazing job. Oh, Pinewoods, okay. Here we find ourselves. They've done a lot of stuff there, I believe. I think it was Pinewoods. Isn't that the studio so place? It looks like a different planet. Dude. People call that home, I not a new planet. Here before in the <laughs> like nothing like this. <laughs> You're on a beautiful beach surrounded by palm trees. <laughs> that is a survival that's, element to filming. That's so cool. And also, there's a really nice <laughs> spirit amongst everyone. There's a togetherness. This is our chance to make a real Dude, difference. Dude, oh. That's pretty sick. That's like the two most amazing things in the world combined. It's like Paradise and Star Wars. Rated <laughs> PG-13. Oh man! Uh, oh yeah, it's just that stupid satellite. So there's, I I was watching Philip DeFranco, and he was talking about how people said, you know, what is it? Not boycott, but something Star Wars. And <clears throat> they think they won because the movie only made a uh, a couple million, like two hundred or whatever it was, million. I don't think it was two million. I uh, two hundred million. I don't know. I don't exactly remember, but. Excuse me. <clears throat> but they were um, talking about boycott in Star Wars, especially Rogue One, because it was like pro-feminist propaganda and stuff like that. Now, I am I try to be as neutral as I can, but I do pick, when it is a confrontation, I don't pick the neutral side. I usually, If I'm a guy and it's guys versus whatever, I pick the guy side. America versus somebody else, I pick America. Uh, if we are, if men or America or my state that I live in or the Pittsburgh Steelers, the team that I grew up from the age of four until now being a fan of, don't call me a bandwagoner, motherfucker, uh, I defend it. But if we're wrong, I'm like, well, f I didn't say it. <laughs> you know, God, my nose is killing me. I told you, the, this camera gives you cancer, man. Don't buy it. Um, if we're wrong or they're wrong or the state that I live in is being a dumbass or my country is doing dumb shit, I'm like, yeah, you know, they made the wrong choice. If I say something that's wrong, I'm like, yeah, I didn't know and I said something that I believed was right. I did my bad. But, you know, it, it's like if America and we're talking about, you know, the country and it's like, well, Obama's a dipshit. So what do you want? You know, of course he's going to be wrong. Of course he bluffed when he should have shot missiles. Who knows? But I don't see <clears throat> this being pro-feminist propaganda. I don't. What, a lot. I didn't hear a, like everything they were saying, but I heard some of it, 
and some of it was, you know, that. And I was like, like really? Like, <clears throat> she's like the main character, granted. But there are a million things in this movie that shadow her by, you know, there's an ice cream truck driving by. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, my God. Is this music copyrighted? Can I get copyrighted for music being playing in public? Huh. I don't know. So, back to the real point. Fucking asshole. Like, she was, of course, the main part. Her father, as we saw there talking, was the Hannibal Lecter son of a bitch. I can't remember his name. The guy in the new... Uh... It's the new game coming out by Kojima. Uh, something... Falling, false, death landings. I don't fucking know. Something, some stupid name. Um, <clears throat> he was in it. He was her father. He was like, it, as far as the story goes, he was more important. As far as like on screen and main characters go, she was definitely the presence. Um, I don't know any of their names because they're all not important because they don't carry on to the rest of the story. So I forget them. But the Hispanic guy, which was really cool that he got to keep his accent. You know, Star Wars is doesn't have a whole lot of diversity. It's a lot of English and or American. And that's just kind of it. Even like the people that may have been... You know, it was kind of nice in the, in the animated series where people that look like their culture was based off Indian, you know, uh, influences had kind of that accent. That was kind of nice. But remember, Star Wars, the originals, were the ones that had really one woman in it besides Mon Mothma, if you have ever saw her. Um, but you knew of her. And... There wasn't a lot of um, a whole lot of Asian people and or different ethnicities in general, and now we got to see a whole lot of differences. We don't have to have an Hispanic actor putting on a different accent. It's all really cool, man. The the movie was very much a melting pot. Uh, the scenes with Vader, I thought, were the best scenes in any. The, for anybody that hasn't seen it, I'm not going to crazy spoil it, but Vader does have like a moment, just a moment. He has a good talk scene. Uh, I love listening to Mufasa speak, um, <clears throat> but he did have one talk scene and one not-so-talkative scene at the very end of the movie, which is, it's the prelude to when he invades, um, in, in, in episode four, where he invades um, Leia's ship to get the plants back in prisoner. It's the prelude to that, and in my opinion, was the best Star Wars scene in any or best scene in any Star Wars movie, and my personal favorite scene in any movie I've ever seen. So that's really cool. And to, to kind of say this movie to boycott it, it was really great. I got I'm glad we got to see a little bit of the behind the scenes. Uh, I, I'm glad we live in a time now where movies and stuff like that are very open, instead of being very like candid and or candid uh, secretive and like it's behind the scenes. And no, I'm glad we got to see a little bit more. But uh, I'm going to end it there. I just realized we're hitting an eight minute and a half uh, uh, video here. I didn't realize, so my bad. I kind of wanted to keep these holidays videos kind of short. Spend more time with your family if you're doing so. Uh, good for you and or my condolences. You know, if it's like a Thanksgiving scenario, that sucks. With that being said, though, I'm going to get you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Once again, my name is Azrael, and I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. If you like the content, you like the channel, you can always like, subscribe, or share completely up to you i do appreciate it though if you want to leave a comment or discuss anything we've talked about uh, uh uh on this video on this channel in general you can leave a comment down below love to see, love to see all the comments once again later guys